Well, hello there. I'm Amanda Starnes. I'm a financial legal examiner with the Washington State Department of Financial Institutions. DFI is a strong supporter of financial capability for Washington residents of all ages. Today, I'm reading The Missing Money, Money Monsters by Okoma Moronu Schreiner and Swandia Prabhat. This reading is for educational purposes only. The Missing Money, Money Monsters. Kai was a worrier. He worried about all kinds of things. He worried about things both big and small. Ever since the incident, he was more worried than usual. It all started right after Chinese New Year. Dad said he would take Kai to the bank to deposit his Chinese New Year money. He was excited to see where grown-ups keep their money. Kai had never been to a bank. But before they could get to the bank, a monster ate all his money. Dad was so busy with Kai's little sister, Lulu, that he didn't even notice. But now Kai was worried. He had big plans for all that money. There were so many things that he wanted to do. There were so many things that he wanted to buy. He knew he needed to get that money back. Kai created a plan to find the monster and save his money. Now he just had to tell mom and dad. He didn't want to worry dad and he knew that it would scare mom, but he had to tell them. They had to know that a monster had eaten all his money. That night, he waited until Lulu was in bed and his parents were in a good mood. It seemed to have worked. Dad looked calm and mom didn't look scared at all. Then mom pulled Kai on her lap. Come sit with me. Let's talk about what happened to your money. Mom explained that ATMs are super secure, that Kai's money would stay there until it was moved to a super duper secure truck called an armored truck. This was going to be harder than Kai thought. Where will the armored truck take the money? Kai asked with slight panic in his voice. Your money will go to the bank, mom explained. The ATM, the armored truck, and the bank are all there to keep your money safe until you need it back. The ATM and the armored truck work for the bank. She reassured Kai that he could check on his money anytime. Mom showed Kai that the bank would even be adding a tiny bit of money to his bank account every month. As mom shooed him off to bed, dad handed Kai a magic little card with his name on it. This card, dad said, would give Kai the power to control the ATM monster so he could get his money out or put more of his money into the bank for safekeeping. Kai was a worrier, but tonight he was a little less worried than usual. The end.
Thanks so much for reading with me. Enjoy.